So I found out this morning that I will, after all, be at Crunchyroll this year. Um, pretty freaking excited. My my very good friend Ariel, Mad Hatrasari, has offered to share her table with me because she got off the wait list. And this will be my first time sharing a table in Artist Alley, which is going to be an interesting experience in of itself. But if I was going to share a table with anybody, I'm so glad it's with her because she's great. She's actually the person who got me into doing Artist Alleys. And we both have a pink booth, so it's going to work. I would have been like more, more excited about this if I had filmed when I first got the email when I woke up but I was not suitable for video at the time. But also it's been like almost a week of kind of waiting around to see if we were allowed because, you know, she got the acceptance email and then we both reached out and asked about sharing a table and it took them like four days to get back to us. So, but we got the yes and we're gonna be there. And I guess you could say Con Crunch begins now because that's the next one. So let's see what needs to be done. Okay, so I've decided for Crunchyroll, I'm going to be ordering keychains, tote bags, and washi tape. A lot of these are gonna be um, restocks and I will have some new items, but I came up with these days, like the minimum, maybe not minimum, but like the last day I could possibly order them to have in time based on my previous orders. So based on this, I've made myself a schedule. So let's look at that. So this is for June. And obviously I need to order the July pins I'm running a little bit late, but I will explain that later. So for July, I've got a lot going on. So the 13th, which is a Wednesday, is when I would ideally have those orders put in for the three different kinds. But based on my last orders, these are the absolute last days that I can order to have them here in time for Crunchyroll. So trying to get myself some leeway, uh, but at least I can see at a glance the absolute last days that I could procrastinate until. So we've got a lot of work to do. Just sticker orders going out. Look how cute. Did you know this is Spirit's brother Spooky? As in spooky stickers. I should probably do more with my ghosts. But yeah, there's a whole other batch coming next week. Thanks for your continued support, guys. So I've been talking about it for, I feel like months now, planning it much longer than that, but I'm finally, finally making some headway on a tiny pin Kickstarter. Uh, let me show you what I've got so far. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have already seen these, but here's, here's the full actual pins. Come on, shrink down. So there's four seasons. There's spring, and summer, and fall, and winter. And half the reason why I'm doing this campaign is because if you remember the spirit pin campaign that I did where it was my logo mascot spirit in different ways and then I did a couple of tiny pins with that. And it was some fall leaves, a bat, and a tiny pumpkin. And those are honestly some of my most popular pins. Like I think I restocked the bat three or four times. Um, but because I switched over to a new manufacturer, I will probably not have access to those molds anymore. So 
at least in regards to the pumpkin and the bat, I've updated the designs. But I wanted to add more tiny pins because they're so cute and they're little board fillers. Um, and I just thought to start off with some generic ones would be a lot of fun. So let's look at the little posts that I made. So there's obviously a ton of designs and I'll just go ahead with this one for now. I spent an embarrassing amount of time yesterday making the graphics and the little logo for it. And there's other like Instagram poll sized or Instagram story sized graphics too that I'll show you. But this was a post that I made. So I wanna start the campaign with four pins out of the 24 and one from each season to you know start off the initial goal because if I were to just do all of them at once it's a pretty steep goal and I don't want to like not be able to do it at all so starting kind of small hopefully we can fund them all though and they're gonna be like 16 and a half millimeters which is like 0.65 inches a little more than half an inch and these are the spring ones and the B is winning currently on Instagram uh, and then we've got summer here's the pole ones that I made so you have a little flamingo and a shooting star and a watermelon which is my favorite and a popsicle and a floaty tube and a monstera leaf and then fall is a skull and crossbones and a little mushroom that's not a periwinkle the remade bat an acorn and a pumpkin and a spider and those legs aren't um, fixed you might have seen on the old ones I don't know if it was older updated or what but I they the legs on that one looked different in fact you could see it here come on focus maybe you can kind of see it right there that the legs were different. Oh, there you go. But I don't know that I want to be that detailed for such a small pin. And then finally we have winter, a little snowflake and a snowman and a light bulb and hot cocoa with marshmallows and a melting snowball head and a penguin. So that's all of them. And I've actually even started, ooh, focus. I've even started setting up the campaign. There's really not much in there so far. <laughs> I have a lot to go, but I'm hoping as soon as I know which, that is not the start date, by the way. I'm hoping to start it sooner than that, but it will run for 14 days. Um, but I'm hoping as soon as I know which pins I'm gonna start with, I can go ahead and start making graphics and setting it up and sending it off for review and all the good stuff that we need to do to launch it. A very exciting package just delivered. Just pulling away. Oh God, you can't see that at all. Oh. oh it's very dirty, it's very light. But we're gonna open this on camera and do a live reveal. My patrons are already going to know what this is because I've been teasing it to them and there's a couple other people who have told about this, but you guys are not ready. Let's see if I can do this without revealing my address. Oh, he is safe. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, I have been talking about wanting to do a periwinkle plush for literally like six months, maybe a year. I wanted to initially do a spirit plush first, but seeing at, at conventions especially how popular periwinkle was, I was like, I have to do him first. And I was sitting on it and sitting on it and I was kind of dragging my feet. I knew I, I had a manufacturer, I had a good friend lend me the contact of hers and I sat on it and sat on it and then 
I went to WonderCon in April and I had already seen these around but we went to Disneyland and I saw this whole display of the magnetic shoulder plushes and I'll give you an example I'm sure you've seen them I know that there's other companies that do them besides Disney but I've never seen an indie company or like an indie artist do magnetic shoulder plushes so he has a magnetic <laughs> oh yes very important detail is his little buns but yeah he's got a magnetic base and his butt is magnetic it's actually pretty strong but I might want them to put more magnets in it. So this piece goes under your shirt on your shoulder and he's supposed to sit and just ride around. And I have friends who have the Baby Yoda Grogu one from Disney and my shoulders are too narrow to house him. So Ryan is going to be the periwinkle handler. And this is the first pass at the sample. There's already some things that I might want to edit um, like his cheek, no, I don't know, I kind of like the embroidered cheeks. Um, his eyes, maybe it's just me looking through the camera, but his eyes seem a little off. This arm is definitely lower than this arm, not that that's a big deal. And I don't want the gill lines to be this dark, I want them to be a much more subtle brown. But I like everything else, and I would love to have more stuffing in his hat, but he's gotta be pretty light, so but this is the most important detail. This is what gets me through the day after seeing this adorable little booty. Um, but yeah, so this base piece is actually pretty nice. The Disney ones, they're literally just like a big fat magnet and it's just flat. There's not really any fluff or cushioning. And this has one little magnet inside. You can see where it's at and that's on his butt. He's got a little butthole. <laughs> so, Ideally, because this was such like a quick thing, and it took like, gosh, I think maybe two months to come to fruition and to receive him, but I would like for the final product to have an embroidered like Periwinkle the Mushroom Boy on it and maybe my details, but yeah. So I am literally just getting ready to launch the, the Tiny Pin Kickstarter and I have to wait until that is completely done and fulfilled to have another Kickstarter, so we'll see about getting this guy. Ryan's gonna be the periwinkle handler at conventions since he's got broad man shoulders. Let's see. <laughs> sticky. Is he not? Let me see. I got him. You got him? Yeah, okay. but he's just... He needs, yeah, we're, we're gonna have to finesse it. Well, hold on. Let me get back in there. No. <laughs> he needs more weight towards his... Yeah, they... Uh, well... You're not in frame at all. You're... Squat. There will be some finessing to be done, but we've got time for that. <laughs> the, the fact of the matter is... He's here. <laughs> <laughs> my son! It's the season of delivery, my dudes. So many things to unbox, but I already broke into these guys. These are the deluxe glow in the dark night crawler pin uh, stickers for June. Let's see how they glow. and sort and package these and I got them from Sticker Ninja again and they're like really nice and thick and just nicely textured and I, I'm just really loving their stickers. So these are the June lanyards and this is a box I wasn't expecting for another month. But that is sticker books. So let's open everything. All right, lanyards first because even though I'm very excited for them, the sticker books are the main event. This is my very first time ever making lanyards. I know that a lot of other artists who sell at conventions make lanyards, and I actually plan to do more, I think, because especially if I do washi tape designs, they're kind of the same file setup. Oh, look at all the dudes. Look at those guys. Yes, 
and they are individually packaged. There's a hundred of them. Aww. One, one thing that I just realized. Let's see. Ooh, they're nice and vibrant. So this one was supposed to have little pink cheeks, but I think I made the artwork too subtle so it didn't translate. They're still cute though. Still heckin' cute. The clasp works okay. Not even on camera. They're pretty long too. Let's see. Man, you still can't even see how long they are. But yeah, pretty cute little guys. Come on, focus. There's the neck part. Oh good, it does turn around. Yay, I'm happy with these. I'll have to count and grade them later. Now let's move on to the main event. I don't know how to do kilograms to pounds, but it's 12 kilograms. There's 250 books in here. There's 50 of the four designs that I was doing pre-orders for and 50 of a design that's going to be for August's Merch Box Club. And I ordered these in a group order but had them sent to me separately. So they arrived like a month sooner than I expected, which is awesome. Oh my God, these are so heavy. Oh, I have no idea what's what because they're all wrapped up. So let's see. So cute! This is the first one. Yee -hee -hee -hee. So cute. Okay, so very, very pleased with that one. It's so vibrant, I can't stop looking at it. All right, what's next? Let's do this. This is like Christmas. Ooh! They gave me samples of stuff. I'll get into that later. I'm really excited because I have direct contact with this manufacturer now. And it seems like from payment to shipping, it'll take about 28 days to have these sticker books made directly from them. So the good news is now I have a time frame and the ability to reorder these for conventions as needed. And I might need to, <laughs> I don't know if I wanna put the rest of these up online to sell between now and Crunchyroll, but I might have to make another order. I, I'll definitely have to make another order for uh, September conventions. I actually prefer this method of packing these because last time they came with like straps on them and you can see the marks, so that kinda sucked. I think this is the August one. Yes, it is. So I'll show this one last. Because that one's a big surprise. Is there a reason why we're keeping this plant? No, get out of here. Can I throw it away? Yes. It's dill. Let's see. This is pressed flowers. This one came out really cute. Okay. 
So pretty. This is a restock of the passport book. Restock of the old reliable. Which means this one oh, is the creature journal. I like the bite mark, which didn't align, which is my own fault, but okay. So now I can reveal the August one. And I know I haven't even talked about July yet, but I will at the end of this vlog. But August's theme is going to be haunted cottage core. Very witchy. And the sticker book is a spell book, which I'm very pleased about. So yeah, these will be available in the merch box in August. So yeah, all the unboxings are done. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about the extra samples. In case you wanted to know where these are from. Oh, there's all kinds of cool stuff in here. Oh man. Well, I got kind of squished, but there's a foiled print. A postcard from Gotcha Pins. I think I follow them. We have hollow sticker. It's the cracked glass pattern, which you can't really see with my light off, but it's there. I don't know if this is supposed to be a backing card or something. These are probably sticky notes. More sticky notes, which I don't know if you guys know that I sell memo pads and everybody always asks if they're sticky notes and they're not. So at least now I know where I can get them made. This is like a custom cut washi tape. It's like a, I don't know how to describe the texture, kind of rough, almost like a sandpaper texture, but in a cool way. So that's neat. Then we have, oh, I don't know what this is. There's like little tiny, you can see the flower shape. I don't know if they're like washi sticker sheet. I don't know. Um, mini foil washies, Mickey Mouse heads, and a roll of circle stickers. These are cute. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to put these on my packages. Super adorbs. So yeah, the sticker books came from the washi mill and I mean, I've heard about them and they've been on my radar, so maybe now I'll have to try out some more of their products. Anyway, I'm gonna end the vlog here, but before I go, I wanted to share the July Patreon rewards with you guys. The theme is Vaporwave, which I did last summer, and it was one of my most popular themes, so I thought I'd bring it back now that I have the big bad merch box and the pin club and all that stuff. And I mentioned earlier about how late I ordered the pins for July. I just sent them off earlier this week. And that's because there's two different colors and I didn't know for like two months which color scheme we were gonna go with for the month. And I pulled like three times and they always came out like dead tied. So I gave my patrons another option of like, okay, it's either gonna be the dark theme with the alternate pin color as another piece of merch in the merch box or vice versa, or a mix and match and the dark color scheme won out. So the pastel version of the pin is the extra piece of merch in the merch box along with a washi tape. And I'm gonna be trying out a uh, neon pink ink from Sticker App, which is gonna be really exciting. So yeah, those rewards are available now if you guys wanna check them out. And with that, I will see you guys next week in another video. Bye. Maybe it's something in the water. Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let it go And that's why I
Wish you 